It is now politically correct to call a wedding a military wedding. In my day, used to call them a shotgun wedding, just saying, hey, in Kentucky, the U.S. of A. An 87-year-old diehard Democrat recently did die, and she passed away in November. Her family says that President Donald Trump had a very large part to do with her death because Trump stuff, bad Trump stuff, all Trump stuff, I guess, had an effect, had an impact. She died and they're mad at him. And so they went to the local newspaper and said, here's the obituary. And inside the obituary, or part of it, I guess, is they were blaming Trump. That's not very nice. I mean, her passing was hastened by her continued frustration with the Trump administration. That's the exact verbiage. <laughs> and the newspaper finally said, we're not going to do that. I think Trump I think World War II was his fault. He wasn't, I guess he was born maybe kind of, sort of, but it was his fault. World War I, it was his fault too. Really? Come on, you guys, get past all of this nonsense. CNN, there's a legal analysis there, uh, analyst, I'll get it right. Her name is, I won't get this right either. Her last name is Martin, that I can say. Ariba Martin. You know, she kind of did the, the racial, the color thing. She's black. And recently, of course, she was talking on the phone to a guy that works at uh, Fox, Fox Nation host David Webb. And they were going back and forth. And she said, white privilege, white privilege. And aha, uh -huh. you know what? It turned out, of course, that uh, Mr. Webb, he's black. <laughs> and now what's she going to say? She's stumped. I mean, these people, it's got nothing to do with color. It's only got to do with right and wrong, stupid, smart, and the stupid. But of course, that wouldn't be the right. That would be the left. Justin Trudeau in uh, the prime mistake in Canada. Recently, he shuffled his cabinet. He moved everybody around. It's kind of like, you know, you're on the Titanic and you say to all of the people in the band, you used to sit there. Now you got to sit here. You got the same people in the band. You got the same music and nobody likes it. And the boat's going to crash. And that's what's going on. The same failed ministers. They're just in different chairs. Oh boy, the United Nations Parliamentary Assembly. That's a website. Look it up. United Nations Parliamentary Assembly. The name suggests, of course, that it's a supplement basically to the United Nations apparatus, that huge machine that so many people want it to be huger, bigger and stronger and better. They want to have an elected assembly that will directly represent the world's citizens. Okay. Are you kidding me? <laughs> they want globalization, no more borders, no more countries. They want to have a select few people that actually control the entire world. It's a world parliament, and that parliament is to adopt universally, blah, blah, I'm having a hard time talking today, stick with me, binding regulations. You know what? Uh, this concept has been kicking around for a number of years. You know, a handful of idealists and academics and goofs, they seem to think that somebody in Africa can tell somebody in Halifax how to plant a potato or something. I mean, I don't know what's going on with these people. Most of them are commies on steroids. And guess what? Uh, one of the people who signed up for this back in 2010, he was a member of Parliament at the time in Canada. His name was Justin Trudeau. Trudeau. His signature is on there and he, uh, you know, he kind of shows that every day. Uh, we're too dumb in Canada to look after ourselves and we're going to send all of your money. Give us more money. We're going to send it over to another country. I mean, this guy, he's steady with that. I mean, he's taking all the money, not all, a lot of money, hundreds and hundreds of billions of dollars and giving it away to people in other countries. He's a globalist. He's a goof is what he is. Liberals are all about freedom as long as it's their freedom to tell us regular folks what to think, how to feel, and what to do. The highest form of liberalization, liberalism, is to ban stuff, ban an activity, ban guns, ban institutions, ban attitudes that they feel are repulsive to their attitude. You're entitled to have an opinion as long as it is exactly like their opinion. They go on and on with this, and one thing that they have missed, maybe they'll get to it, is uh, sports. Football, hockey, these sports where big men are beating other big men up. There's no women. They're 100% male. They should get a man on that and, and make it by gender. What would that word be? I don't even know. Stupid. Women would get killed. I mean, not all women. Some women could maybe run faster than that big guy coming after her. But that's kind of what it's about. Liberalism has no bounds. I mean, when you think that you got some little thing that's kind of safe from these goofs, you wake up one day and it won't be. we got to get rid of them. The solution, <sighs> drive over top of them. <laughs> the solution is you got to get rid of them. And you can only do that at the ballot box and make sure that the right people are there to count the votes that are in that box. Y'all come back tomorrow. See ya.